they are. She wasn't making it up. Protego! Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might give an answer about these butterflies. There's never been a shameful squib in my family's history. Revelio. Revelio. Squibs are just as vile as mud blood to my Potato. Well, well. Look what we have here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Glad you came. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare.
Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as... I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may... And you could retrieve something of mine. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. He'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Rebellio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? These rocks have seen better days. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to... Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Dear Serona, a gem, has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply... I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the travelling vendors and would love to get the more Wiganweld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. Revelio. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood played a hand in his disappearance.
I should investigate. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. <sighs> Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Let's have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Defender! Incendium! Good for you! Potato! Yeah. 
This must be Sorona's box of letters. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. I should find Mrs. Sprottle. She'll be glad to get these hawk lumps. It's like a place right out of a... Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk lumps for you, and I found Sorona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of wig and weld potion. And Sorona will be delighted to have those letters. How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. You can't imagine how inconvenient... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Pardon me? Might I ask a favour of you? Revelio. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories.
a body like in Hogsmead, here I come. Fear is weakening. What are you up to now? You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seemed sincere, and Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. 
Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Off on another adventure, are we? If anyone ever knew how to keep muggles out, it was Hengist of Woodcroft. I wonder what Merlin would think about it. <laughs> Nice to see you, my young friend.
There we go. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Revelio Incendio. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Revelio. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Levioso. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Levioso. Revelio. Defender. 
the armors. There's a victory that came none too soon. Leviosa. Akiem. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Incendio.
That's it. This place has seen better days. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark.
Welcome back. Have you finished your assignment? Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing. Spell as much as possible. Arrest the moment. That's it. Keep it up. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to... to worry about. <laughs>
Let me also. You don't know who you're playing with! The vaults are. Oh. Yes. <coughs> Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. He's likely studied here. I've used um How nice of <laughs> I know you're the one who's so I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh 
over here. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Ranrock wants us to find the child, but the video child. We could take every child with us to Ranrock. Eventually, we might get the right one. Sounds like a lot of work. Perhaps we just tell it we look. No! I will make you pay. Defender! Revelio. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Ah, oh, up there. That's our way in. The pulsar. Levioso! Capulso! Levioso! Accio! Indani and Leviosa! I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So... Unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Over here! Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Rest 
I suppose that's the quick way down. Revelio. Symbols on the walls. <laughs> Revelio. There is. 
I've seen symbols like these before. I need to find all of them, then cast at them quickly in succession. Revelio. Protego. Arresto momentum. <laughs> Incendio. Rebellion. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Branrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber.
Leviosa! Leviosa! Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Leviosa! Pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa.
I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Something hit a mark on the far wall. That sort of thing has repositioned the archways in the past. Revelio. Rebellion. Pillar here, but no ledge near it. I need to grab on to it. Defender! Confringo! those marks readjusts the archways. 
Perhaps there's a way forward from the other side of this one. Is it possible to pull one of those blocks through the archway? After pulling the block out through the archway, I can place it where it can be climbed on while on the other side of the archway.
can bring her.
What a relief. I am curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. 
in light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. I have been asked... Hello, Homora. ...the exploding charm. Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class.
Off on another adventure, are we? Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. What do we have here? Damn me, guys. I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Descender! Excellent! I think you have it. <laughs> you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. Revelio. Thank you. 
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented it. Wingardium Leviosa. the high wing. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you. I'll keep an eye out. You are to be commended for your bravery and... We are fortunate to have a student... Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greeting! I'm sorry to say... I... Oh, how unfortunate. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod. You are to be com... Yeah. <laughs> 
What do you have in store for me this time? Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Uh. <gasps> A centaur! Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. Revelio. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Huh. 
Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Rebellion. This is goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. He's weak. When's the last time you saw him catch a beast? Spend oh, yeah. Only muggles fall to such ailments. You really do. himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Dragon Fighting Ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted.
Revelio. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Protego! Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Hello, Hamora. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count.
we're looking for and you brought a freight. My power fortune. In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle.
It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. <laughs>